right, so let's switch gears a little bit. And you've seen the breakfast shakes, the nutrition bars, the protein packed drinks, the diet supplement section of your local grocery store or gym is expanding and the number of options you choose could overwhelm you and even if you're the most savvy of shoppers. So actually, listen to this, market research has shown that these meal replacement products are actually growing faster than the diet pill industry. And we know that that's a billion dollar industry. Right. So it makes sense, you know, we're living these busy lives and we grab something quick that we can throw in our purse or eat in the car and it's so much easier to do that than to actually sit down and eat a real meal. Sure. So with all the options out there, how do you narrow it down and how often should you rely on these snacks and meals. So to help you navigate, I've got a few general guidelines for you to look at. So what I recommend is if this is truly going to be a meal replacement, that you want it to be about two to 300 calories. Now that's probably still less than what you would eat for a meal, but at least it's gonna give you some sustaining energy for a few hours. Okay. You want it to have at least 10 grams of protein, at least 20 grams of carbs, eh, nice if you can find some fiber in there, and about less than 10 grams of fat. So, um, so here's the deal, is that anytime you're, you're eating or drinking a meal replacement product, you know, try to maybe do it just once a day and a few times a week. I do mm. do, as you know, Jada, yeah, I, I do you. do meals, <laughs> meal replacement shakes yeah. and bars on a pretty regular basis because they mm. are convenient yeah. and they keep me full and I do like the taste of them. Right, you know, you're the one who got me started on the bars, so I'm doing it throughout the day, especially in my busy schedule, yeah. so it does help. Yeah, so for me, I shouldn't say they're meal replacements for me, more they're mm -hmm. snacks. So okay. I'm staying more in the maybe 150 to 200 calorie range to kind of tide me over okay. in between meals. Well, they're, they're meal replacements. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so you know, anytime that you're looking at convenience foods, you know, just in moderation mm -hmm. and don't only live on bars and shakes. That's okay. my only thing is you got to still eat your fruits and vegetables and fresh meals and dairy and all that kind of stuff. Too. Okay, I can do that. All right, Michelle, over to you.